Yo, what's up? Today I want to talk about the Vampire Drain again. So I did a recent test uh, with MC Hammer, my Model 3. Uh, you know, when I, par when I tested um, uh, the Peugeot E28, I had it for 11 days and then right after I tested the DS3 for uh, five days or something for, yeah. But anyway, meanwhile, um, MC Hammer was parked at Battle of Sten for 14 days, untouched. And at start, I checked that uh, it was exactly at 75%. Uh, I can see it in the scan my Tesla. And then uh, after I pick it up, it was 72.2%. So we lost only 2.8% over 14 days. That is remarkably low. It means only 0.2% per day. And the best result I had uh, until now was 0.5%. So it means that if you leave the car for one month, you will lose 6% versus 15% before. But then again, um, Taycan will lose about 1% per month. So that's still way, way better. So uh, I also saw that there was a software update that woke up the car, yeah. But okay, by the way, I should mention that uh, uh, when, I, when, I mentioned, when I made the previous video about Taycan versus Model 3, uh, so many people, uh, they were saying, oh, you know, uh, you can't compare these two because uh, Taycan was sitting in nice, warm Spain weather, right? And then the Model 3 test was done in winter. Well, what you probably don't know is that um, the drain is actually lower in winter. So, um, uh, you know, self-discharge rate of lithium battery at zero degrees Celsius is half of uh, it would be at 20 degrees Celsius. The warmer, I mean, why do you think people keep uh, batteries uh, to cameras or whatever in, in the fridge? Because then the self-discharge is lower. Um, and also, when I look at Scanma Tesla, uh, the car will report that it will, there's a target active cool number or whatever. It will actively heat up the battery if it goes below minus 7 degrees Celsius. And during my test, it was hovering around 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. And uh, that means that in the daytime, the battery pack will actually heat up a little bit. And then at night, it slowly cools down. So the battery pack uh, will be hovering at around 3 degrees Celsius, which is not cold enough for the active cooling to kick in. So actually, it doesn't matter when you test it in winter or summer. Uh, the car doesn't consume more. Actually, it the, the uh, not the vampire drain, but the, the self-discharge rate is in fact lower with Tesla. But the reason why Tesla uses six, well, in this case, six times more is probably because there's some communication going on or there's some computers running. It's mining Bitcoins for Elon or something. Yeah. Uh, but I have also another test, by the way, uh, uh, when I tested the MG, uh, that was only three days. Um, and then also the same thing there, I parked the car and at start it was 65.5%. When I came to pick it up three days later, it was 64.2%. And there we actually lost 0.43% per day, way higher than 0.2%. Uh, I think it's because the, it wasn't long enough. Uh, because normally um, when I leave the car, I will hear that it's actually running the pumps and doing some stuff. And then after maybe 15 minutes, half an hour, an hour, it will go into some sleep mode. And then if I try to open uh, the app, it will say waking up the car. Uh, so that's good, it's trying to save energy, but it means that maybe in this test I did three days, it's not long enough. And also, by the way, I didn't run Visible Tesla or any app that will keep the car awake. So it, it, the car was asleep until I woke it up after three days, but it probably needs to be a longer test. But okay, uh, so why why did I suddenly get 0.2% um, per day versus 0.5% uh, per day? I mean, is it because of summer? No, like I explained, you know, uh, the, the summer shouldn't matter, winter or summer. I mean, we could redo this test again in winter and we can see if we can actually get 0.2%. Uh, it could be that Tesla has tweak something. I mean, they, they continuously tweak stuff, you know, uh, that they don't tell about, uh, improve stuff. So uh, is it that, is it really a software update that changed it? I, I don't know, but you know what? Um, based on the result right now, 6% per month, that is, of course, not, <laughs> it's not 1% or 0% like some other cars, but I consider 6% so low that is acceptable because most people, they don't leave the car I don't know where, at the airport or home for months at a time, you know, and even if they leave it for a month and they go on vacation, then, uh, oh, the car went into, <laughs> yeah. Uh, even if they do that, 6%, uh, it's no big deal, really. 
Um, so I don't know if you guys agree. Uh, is, is it at the point where we don't care too much about it again, or do we do we want really do we want Taycan level? You know, just one percent per month. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think, uh, and also if you have any theory why the result now was better than before. Uh, you know. And again, I will test again in winter when I have the chance. Yeah. So that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.